Good morning. Today in math, we're going to be talking about centimeters and meters. So we have already talked about inches, and we know an inch is about this long, and a foot is about this long. But if you are going to school in Japan or France, you wouldn't be learning about inches or feet. You would be learning about centimeters and meters. So a centimeter is usually about as wide as your finger. Some of you, it might be your pinky nail. Um, on your ruler, you've got two sides. You've got an inch side and a centimeter side. Centimeters are a little smaller. So mine is about the width of my pinky. Um, go ahead and get your ruler and see if you can find a finger that's about as wide as a centimeter. This is a meter stick. So a meter is 100 centimeters. And in your backpack, when you pick stuff up, you should have a long paper white ruler and that should be a whole meter long. When we're comparing the, ooh, I don't know if we can do it. When we're comparing the meter with, uh, with a yard, you can see there's only a little bit of difference. It's not too much longer. So they're really, really close. Uh, we know that a yard is three feet or 36 inches. So a meter stick, oh, if I turn mine over, I actually have inches on the back of my meter stick. It's like just over 39 inches here. Or th so meters are what they use in some countries. Um, scientists in America tend to use centimeters. Um, meters are a little bit bigger, so centimeters is usually what we're using. Um, and that's so that they can talk about, talk to scientists all over the world. When you are measuring today, you're gonna be using centimeters. Um, for smaller things, and if you're talking about larger things, you're going to be talking about meters. 